Massimo Bottura and uh, I'm the chef of Osteria Francescana in Modena, in Italy, in uh, Emilia Romagna. So the chef of balsamic vinegar, parmigiano reggiano, prosciutto, uh, mortadella, culatello, whatever. I, I can go on and on like this. So what is Italian cuisine? Uh, Italian cuisine for me, Italy. Italy is uh, the friendship, Italy is the family. Italy is uh, the party on uh, the lunch uh, for like Sunday lunch or Christmas or New Year's Eve. Uh, the way we get together and we share ideas, uh, we fight with brothers, uh, we compare uh, the handmade pasta we do with the one uh, my mom was doing. Uh, so it's all about this, it's all about enjoy the food and uh, I think uh, Italy is the food, so this is uh, the cuisine of the future and I think Italy has an incredible group of people that are like uh, interpret this kind of cuisine and this kind of ideas very well. Thanks you, Eat Italy, hello! I'm Claire Robinson, I'm the host of 5 Ingredient Fix and Food Network Challenge on the Food Network. What don't I love about Italian food? I love all the creamy textures, pasta of course, everything is fresh. Um, I love the balance of flavors in almost every great Italian dish. There's a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of acidity, a little bit of uh, usually a pop of fresh herb. Um, there's usually a creamy undertone even to the tomato dishes. I just love pasta, um, which is the first thing I think of when I think of Italian food. <laughs> Sorry, but it is. So if you want to know more about Italian food, how to cook it, where to eat it, Everything you want to know about Italian food, go to eatitalian.com and check it out. My name is Elizabeth Faulkner, and I'm a chef in San Francisco. I've got a restaurant called Orson and another one called Elizabeth Faulkner's Citizen Cake Ice Cream Parlor and Eats. Oh, I'm actually uh, enamored with Italian food right now. I've, I've been to Italy a few times, and in fact, last year I went to Rome um, for the first time in about 20 years. Mostly I've been to the northern part, Parma, particularly in Milan. But um, just I'm kind of obsessed with... It seems like every night I come home, all I want to do is make pizza on my grill or pasta. And I love making pasta these days. I'm, um, it's not something that I, I've never worked for a chef where I've been having to cook Italian food, but I just kind of come back to it all the time. I just it's the stuff that I crave. I love tomato. I just love tomato sauce. I want the. I had carbonara in Rome that changed my life. It made me just think. Okay, I don't know what people are serving everywhere, but it's like, you know, it, ha it can't be bacon. It has to be the pancetta, and then that you know the rich red egg yolks that you get in Italy, I mean, you just can't compare, but and, and just there's something just really grounding for me about making pasta, just from hand, you know, it's something, I might be, have worked all day and I'm exhausted, but it's still um, therapeutic for me to come home and make pasta by hand, you know, do a little sheeting on it, and or, or make gnocchi or something like that, it's just, I, I find myself doing it all the time, I totally love it, I totally love it, and I actually, every time I go out for, you know, to a restaurant and I order wine, I often find myself saying, I just want something dry, white, and Italian. Tell me what you got. <laughs> That's what I'm looking for. I think everybody should start eating more Italian. You can check it out on eatitalian.com. I love Italian food. I like to eat Italian food. I don't like to cook Italian food. I've never worked in an Italian restaurant except when I was a kid, which was a continental restaurant. Uh, I can make a good ravioli. I can make some pasta, but I've never, I can't make Italian food. I don't really even try. I go out to eat Italian, but I don't make it. And I love it because it's always delicious and it's no, mainly no fuss. And that's kind of relaxing for a guy like me that sometimes fusses over food. And uh, uh, there's a place called Brio right next to the Neighborhood Townhouse. It's fantastic. Pizza, pasta, uh, veal dishes, cheeses, meats. You know, and, and it's been around. It doesn't go out of style. It's, it delivers. Uh, it's almost as solid as what a diner and a steakhouse are to people. Yeah, you, know, you get bad at time, but in New York City, the level of quality is so good. So, and you know what? It's got a lot of umami, and it's got a lot of good, and it, you can eat bread with Italian food. You know, it's, that's why sushi sucks sometimes. Because, you know, you don't get that dipping the bread. You know what I mean? I love bread, I love butter, I love olive oil, and I like to, you know, this is a sense of mental satisfaction when you mop up, or what they call scarpetta, the end of your bowl and finish that crunchy bread. So that's my two cents about loving a time for I'm dating a time girl who's waiting for me in a Range Rover right now. If I don't get out of there, I'm going to be eating a time food alone tonight. So, see you later.